Greetings, peoples, and welcome back to Sonic Colors. We're here in Planet Wisp, which, uh, is a lot of people's favorite level. I, uh, I disagree with that. I mean, the level itself, this is fine. I think the level itself is okay. It works. It's a good level. I just don't think it's, well, the best level in the game. Uh, it was brought back for generations, and, uh, as you'll see in this level, they have a lot of, well, tiny platforms, stuff like that, where you have to platform, obviously, on very tiny, small moving platforms, which, uh, for the boost formula games, it doesn't really work out that well, it doesn't really work with Sonic Control, especially in this game, and, uh, a lot in Sonic Generations, I feel like Sonic Generations, uh, Planet Wisp is not a bad level, but it's definitely the worst level in the game. I'm pretty sure a lot of people agree with me there. That, you know, opinion that Planet Wisp is the worst level in Generations, especially the modern level. But, uh, yeah. There we were introduced to the Spike Wisp. Um, probably my favorite Wisp in the game, purely because it's pretty much just Sonic, only replacing the boost with the spin dash and allowing you to, like, climb all over walls and stuff like that, and be able to break certain boxes that Sonic by himself wouldn't normally be able to break. I think the Spike Wisp, again, probably my favorite. I just like having the Spin Dash. I prefer the Spin Dash to the boost a lot uh, of the time, a lot of the time. Uh, I don't know what it is. I just prefer being able to rev up in a ball, roll down a hill, go faster, stuff like that, as opposed to just pressing a button when I have a meter filled out, just be able to boost forward and destroy anything in my path. And I feel like the spin dash is just better overall, like in a 3D space, and a 2D space obviously considering the classic games, but yeah. Um, in the Sonic Adventure games, or Sonic Adventure 2, I definitely prefer the spin dash as opposed to the modern games boost. But then, then again, like, the, uh, boost is really, like, levels now are designed around the boost. They always were, but, like, I mean, the boost formula, I, the boost is obviously designed for those levels. The levels are designed for the boost. But, again, I'd, I'd still rather have the spin dash, that's just my opinion. Uh, the spike wisp can control a little bit weirdly, as you can see I was having trouble turning around. Uh, I, I don't know if it's because I was using the, uh, nunchuck to, you know, move Sonic, because, uh, I'm, I'm playing this game with the Wiimote and Nunchuck combo. Many people use the GameCube controller. I don't like the GameCube controller in general, oh, no. but I've already mentioned that many times before, so, yeah, I'm that's not a fan of the GameCube controller. But yeah, uh, right here in this section, we're about to see one of my problems with this level. This, I, I know it looks fine here, but, like, oh, no. when I was playing this, uh, I, I could barely see Sonic, and it's like, <laughs> it's not like I have bad eyesight or anything, I can see perfectly fine, it's just, you know, I, I just have trouble seeing Sonic a lot in that section, like, maybe it's my TV, but like, like, when I, I'm playing this game on my TV, and I'm farther away from, like, the screen that I'm playing the game on, Sonic can be rather difficult to see in that section. And, uh, that's just a little, uh, issue that I have with the level. Uh, not, not that really a big issue or anything, it's just like that one section, small little, uh, thing that I think is, uh, could have been improved there. Just like, uh, I don't, like, that's very nitpicky. I don't mean half that the game is bad because I couldn't see Sonic as well as I normally can in that one tiny, like, is it like a ten second section of a level? But, yeah, I just, eh. Small grievance I have. Anyway, yeah, we're already like on the third act of Planet Wisp, like nearly at the halfway point of this zone, world, whatever you want to call the level from Sonic Colors, planet. Either way, I don't believe that I've uh, mentioned this before, but I don't really like the quick step in a uh, Sonic Colors, uh, mainly because. Well, one thing is because the, the quick step itself is only able to be used in these, like, uh, in sections like the one you just saw there, where, you know, you dart left and right and stuff like that while avoiding obstacles, things like that. It's pretty much 
it, not even pretty much, it is relegated to only being able to be used in those segments. Oh no! And I, I just find that rather annoying. I, I don't like when Sonic moveset is hindered just for the sake of having, like, I don't know, maybe like specific, like, I, I don't like it when Sonic's moveset is like, if you strip moves away from Sonic's basic control and save it for like, say, specific segments of a level, like, again, an example with Sonic Colors, uh, I don't know if I'm specifically, but yeah, I can't speak right now, but like, when, when you strip Sonic of like basic moves like the drift that were used in Unleashed and later used in Generations after this game, like, I can perform a drift at any point in Sonic Generations or Sonic Unleashed. Um, granted that I'm not in a 2D section when I'm in 3D, but when I am like, say, you know, playing through the game normally, I, I can't drift in sections like this. I can't, like, well, bad time to really bring it up because I'm in a drift section, but, like, any anytime I'm not in a 3D section like this, where they give me the option to drift, I am not able to drift at all. Like, I can't drift, even if I wanted to. Granted, it would be rather pointless. I, I just like having the option to do things like, say, if I could drift in a normal 3D section without being, well, forced to, really. I'd just rather be able to drift whenever I feel like it, no matter how pointless it is. I just prefer to have options whenever I play really any game, to just be able to do whatever I want. Here's an example oh, no. of how those tiny platforms don't really work. I had a lot of trouble with this level, and I, I don't know what it was. Like, normally I'm able to play through this level just fine, and maybe the recording curse is creeping up on me once again, but I, I don't know. Like, right here, I'm, I'm doing fine, but then, like, I, I just, I can't, it's Sonic's control, with Sonic's control in this game, it's not really built for, like, precise platforming. None of the blue games are really meant for that. Again, that's why people have a problem with Planet Wisp and uh, Sonic Generations, because precise platforming is not... That's not what the boost games are really built for. Yeah, like, it doesn't... It, it just... It can work. It's just not... It's not likely to work. Right here, I don't know what happened there. I was able to grind on that rail perfectly fine just a second ago. And then when I jump over that small platform, I just... I jump on the rail, and I swear I should have been able to jump on that rail. But I'm just not able to. And uh, right there, you feel me just boogieing to the music. Mainly because, it, again, I don't like it when Sonic level design... Like, makes me just stop and wait removing platforms. Again, it's brief, but it breaks the flow of the level. Also, here's another... Oh no! Yeah. I, I, I couldn't see that enemy, so if I just boost quickly for a burst of speed, I, I just... You know, I, I, I'm gonna get hit. I, I can't see that enemy in front of me. There's no way for me to really react to that. Again, these seem like small, like nitpicks, and really they are, but I, I have a lot of problems with this one level that I noticed in this playthrough. And it's just... I don't know. Sonic Colors, I, I don't think it's a bad game. It's a fine game, it's a good game, but it's not the greatest Sonic game out there. I think there are plenty of other better Sonic games. In fact, I think Sonic Generations and Sonic Unleashed are much better games than Sonic Colors. Well, Sonic and Leaf when you're just, you know, talking about the daytime stages, although I don't really have that many problems with the Werehog. I mean, it doesn't fit, but I never really minded the Werehog that much. But, anyway. It's time to continue on with the story. You know, as alien as this place is, there's something very Eggman-ish about it. I think he's transforming it somehow. Making it part of his theme park. Attention guests! If you can hear this message, you are trespassing in an area still under renovation. If you are not a robot, please return to the main park areas and ignore anything evil you might have seen here. Thank you. It looks like the theme of his park is universal domination and the conquest of alien races. It's more than a theme, it's a reality. He's using 
treating them like some kind of living intergalactic gas. That's pretty low, even for a sleaze ball like Eggman. Some displacement of indigenous aliens and destruction of natural resources may occur. Eggman Enterprise is not responsible. <laughs> Getting any of that? Yeah, they're totally freaked out. It sounds like they're in shock because of public transportation and a loony nurse. Oh no, wait, scratch that. They're in shock because of their planet's strange transformation and having been dragged across the universe. Well, I still can't believe he kidnapped the whole planet. How does somebody do that? They're saying it was either ice cream or a tractor beam. Yeah, well, I'm going to guess it wasn't ice cream shooting out of those generators. If it was, I would get one for back home. Dude, I'd get two. Now, if everyone will excuse me, I'm going to put a stop to these renovations. Anyways, yeah, I just, like... The game itself, again, is fine. I just have a lot of small grievances with it, a few nitpicks and things like that, along with some fundamental issues, like, you know, I feel like Sonic's control is bit... Like, people say Sonic Unleashed control is more stiff than in Sonic Colors, and that Sonic Colors, like, Sonic control is a lot more smoother, he, his controls are a lot smoother than in Unleashed, but uh, I don't know what it is. I, I just always felt like Sonic Colors oh, no. Sonic is a lot more stiff than in Unleashed. Mainly just when moving around with the analog stick. Again, that may be a problem based on the controller that I am using. But uh, I, I feel like if my experience with the game is going to be hindered based on what controller I'm using, then that's a problem with the game. Sonic should be smooth on his own without any issue whatsoever. Anyway, here's a, here's a death right here. Oh no! Looking back on the footage, I should have been able to see that, I should have jumped, but, eh, just, just an embarrassing death, I guess, that happened. There, I, I learned from my mistakes, and somehow I didn't really collect any rings there. And, uh, here's another weird thing that happened when I was skydiving through here, of course, skipping the red ring. I clearly landed on that boost, like, on that boost ramp. It's not even a boost pad, it's just like a booster, whatever you want to call it, but still, yeah, it's Sonic. <laughs> Sonic's uh, going really fast there, As you can clearly see, he's uh, rolling around at the speed of um, molasses, there we go, that works, but now I'm moving fast again, so I'm, a, I'm okay with that. And, uh, yeah, right here I'm, uh, I'm about to experience another really sad death that, well, I wasn't prepared for, and, uh, I, I don't know whether I should have seen it coming, but, uh, it, it was a rather sad moment for me, and, yeah, I, I just, and my life went on too well, I was doing too well, and my life just had to end. <laughs> Oh no! But either way, it was just a weird death, so it doesn't really matter all that much. Until... I instantly oh no. die again. I, again, guys, I'm good at this game, I swear, I just... I have really bad luck whenever I can record... Whenever... Did I just say when I can record? Anyway, when I record, I never really have... That... I, I have a lot more problems. I don't know why I can't speak a lot of the time when I commentate over games, but uh, apparently people still watch my videos. For those of you that do, thank you. I appreciate the support. I don't know how you're still watching these videos, but still. <laughs> yeah, uh, and again, obviously because you're moving into a 2D section and you have to go through that little automated sequence that we had to stop with. Like, sometimes it can be a little weird if it's like, oh, I have full energy with this wisp, and then just like, oh, now it's gone. It's just, it, it's gone. <laughs> anytime I hit that thing, like, anytime I touch that thing and Sonic falls back, I expect to be damaged, but I, I never do. I'm not complaining or anything, it's just, it's just strange. 
anyway, he's probably one of, if not the most iconic part of Planet Wisp, and, uh, climbing a tower, and I pretty much skipped through all of it with the Hover Wisp. And we got, uh, something that I... I'm not sure again if I brought this up before or not, but anyway, here's a good time to talk about it since it's a very platforming heavy sequence that I'm, of course, going to skip over completely. But Sonic Colors, like, level design is very blocky. I'm not the first person to say that. There are plenty of others who have the same opinion I do in thinking that. But I, I, just, I think it's too blocky. Like, I don't think it's NES bad, like some people say, but, like, I feel like, yeah. It doesn't really... It, it's a Sonic game, it definitely feels like a Sonic game, but the level design doesn't really feel Sonic-y a lot of the time. It feels like more generic platformer type stuff, yeah. And there's the generator! It seems like these guys are getting harder and harder to find. For a fact, these guys are getting harder and harder to beat. Please remember, all planets in Eggman's incredible interstellar amusement park are, as far as you know, wholly owned properties of Eggman Enterprises and its subsidiaries. All unauthorized photography, video reproduction, or shutting down of generators is strictly prohibited. Thank you. Eggman, I am going to save this planet, and I am going to free these aliens. No copyright law in the universe is going to stop me! We can save a lot of time and broken robots if you just quit now! I get it! I don't get it! <sighs> you try to be reasonable... Anyways, guys, we are here with... Well, another, another boss fight. And, uh... It's just the tropical coast boss. Tropical coast. I said tropical coast again. It's the Sonic Lost World level. Then again, people used to think that Sonic Lost World was going to be the sequel to Sonic Colors because of the Wisp, but no, they just didn't bother to explain the Wisp conclusion. But, yeah. But it's tropical Resort, if I can think of the right name. Uh, yes, yeah, it's, it's the exact same boss. The exact same boss, just given maybe one or two new laser attacks, making the platforms, like, all spinny and circular. Other than that, it's, yeah, it's, it's the exact same boss. It was still easy, though, so nothing to worry about, but uh, since the platforms are spinny, I can do that. Yeah. That's uh that's fun. Wow, sometimes I even impress myself. For a second there, I wasn't sure I was going to pull it off. Well, who am I kidding? We both knew how this would end. Uh, are you talking to the broken robot who can't hear you? Uh, maybe. That's between me and the robot. So the important thing here is. Forget about the whole talking to dead robots thing, right? Nope. I knew you'd say that. <laughs> oh, come on. I've seen you save the day a lot of times. I've never seen you talk to a pile of metal. Okay. Anyways, guys, that was the... That was Planet Wisp. And, uh, that cutscene, well... Again, I, I like this game. I think it's good. I just... The writing of the story of the... Again, it's uh, not very good. It is not good. It's not what uh, they would describe as good. But, uh, yeah, anyways, uh, yeah, I'll see you all in the next part where we go to Asteroid Coaster, my favorite level in the game. It's amazing. I love it. But, anyways, guys, I will see you all in the next video. I have been the Cryogenic Gamer. Good night, everybody.